dear students on a dry day you might find that after you comb your hair it is attracted to comb when we rub objects together such as wool against amber or silk against glass we find that after rubbing the objects attract to each other a silk cloth is attracted to the glass rod that it was rubbed against the rubbed objects can also be used to attract other objects for instance small bits of paper are attracted to the comb that had been rubbed through here now i am giving you franklin's explanation about it according to franklin all objects are full of electric fluids if we transfer some electric fluid from one body to other then object with surplus of electric fluid is positive or plus and an object with deficit of electric fluid is negative or minus according to franklin both a glass rod and a silk cloth have some amount of electric fluid initially and after they are rubbed together some of the electric fluid is transferred from the silk to the glass there was no way for franklin to know whether that was true because there was no experimental evidence to determine which way the electric fluid flowed franklin could also have imagined that electric fluid was transferred from the glass to the silk however subsequent scientists have kept his arbitrary choice and that has important implications for our contemporary model of electric charge according to contemporary model when two objects have brought near each other it is possible for electrons that are loosely bound to the atoms in one object to move to other object the protons and neutrons are tightly bound in the nucleus and so they cannot be transferred therefore when glass is rubbed against silk electrons are transferred from the glass to the silk afterward the glass has a surplus of protons and silk has a deficit of protons now our sign convention is based on the relative number of electrons and protons in a given object an object that has an equal number of electrons and protons is said to be neutral an object that has a deficit of electrons has a surplus of protons such an object is said to be positive an object that has surplus of electrons has deficit of protons such an object is said to be negative now the magnitude of small known charges e is equal to 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 coulomb it is the charge on one electron nature of charge on electron is negative and mass of electron is 9.1 into 10 to the power minus 31 kg so if a body is negatively charged it means there are surplus of electrons as each electron has mass 9.1 into 10 to the power minus 31 kg so the negatively charged body gains mass similarly if the body is positively charged it means there is deficit of electrons that is body loses some electrons to other body and hence it loses mass that is it is relatively lighter now i will discuss the properties of electric charge the first property is charge is a scalar quantity that is we can use simple addition and subtraction for charges second property is charge is of two types one is positive and other is negative we have already discussed the positive and negative charges now third property charge is conserved it means in an isolated system total charge sum of positive and negative charge is always constant whatever change takes place in that system for example we can consider the case of annihilation and pair production in annihilation when an electron charge minus e and its anti particle the positron charge plus e undergoes an annihilation process two gamma photons are produced e minus for electron e plus for positron goes to gamma plus gamma here we see that net charge on left side is zero plus 1 and minus 1 is equal to 0 and charge in right side is also 0 now second example is pair production if a gamma photon of energy more than 1.02 million electron volt interacts with nucleus it produces a pair of electron and positron gamma photon converts to e minus e plus here net charge on left side of this equation is 0 and net charge on right side of the equation is also 0 now fourth property charge is quantized according to this 
चार्ज ऑन बॉडी इज एन इंटीग्रल मल्टीपल ऑफ चार्ज ऑन एन इलेक्ट्रॉन मैथमेटिकली वी कैन राइट इट क्यू इज इक्वल टू प्लस माइनस एन ई हियर ई इज द एलिमेंट्री चार्ज इट इज द चार्ज ऑन वन इलेक्ट्रॉन द वैल्यू ऑफ एन मे बी जीरो वन टू एंड सो ऑन द मैग्नीट्यूड ऑफ चार्ज ऑन वन इलेक्ट्रॉन इज वन पॉइंट सिक्स इंटू टेन पावर माइनस नाइनटीन कूल ऑन इट्स नेचर इज नेगेटिव द क्वांटाइजेशन ऑफ चार्ज वॉज फर्स्ट सजेस्टेड बाय फराडे एंड इट वॉज एक्सपेरिमेंटली डिमोन्स्ट्रेटेड बाई मिल्कन इन नाइनटीन ट्वेल्व नाउ वी कैन ऑल्सो कैलकुलेट द नंबर ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन्स इन वन कूल ऑन चार्ज फॉर इट जस्ट पुट क्यू इज इक्वल टू वन कूल ऑन एंड ई इज इक्वल टू माइनस वन पॉइंट सिक्स इंटू टेन पावर माइनस नाइनटीन एन एक्वेशन एंड फाइंड द वैल्यू ऑफ एन इट विल बी एन इज इक्वल टू वन कूल ऑन अपॉन वन पॉइंट सिक्स इंटू टेन टू पावर माइनस नाइनटीन कूल ऑन दिस वैल्यू विल बी इक्वल टू सिक्स पॉइंट टू फाइव इंटू टेन टू पावर एटीन इट इज अ वेरी लार्ज नंबर सो वन कूल ऑन चार्ज इज अज अमाउंट ऑफ चार्ज प्रैक्टिकली वी यूज स्मॉलर यूनिट फॉर चार्ज लाइक मिली कूल ऑन एम सी माइक्रो कूल ऑन म्यूसी नैनो कूल ऑन एन सी एंड पिको कूल ऑन पी सी इट्सेट्रा दस द स्टेप साइज ई इज वेरी स्मॉल इट्स वैल्यू इज द मैग्नीट्यूड ऑफ ई इज वन पॉइंट सिक्स इंटू ट्वेंटी पॉइंट माइनस नाइनटीन कूल ऑन इट मीन्स द स्टेप साइज ऑफ ई इज वेरी स्मॉल एज कंपेयर टू द चार्ज यूजली फाउंड ऑन मेनी केसेस सो जस्ट फॉर सिंप्लिसिटी वी कैन एज्यूम अ कॉन्टिन्यूस चार्ज वेरिएशन This was first verified by Millikan oil drop experiment. Now fifth property is charge is always associated with mass. That is a charge cannot exist without a mass. Now what is the reason behind it? The reason is as charge is produced due to transfer of electrons from one body to other and each electron has mass 9.1 into 10 to the power minus 31 kg approximately. therefore the transfer of electrons means transfer of mass this is the reason why we cannot transfer charge to a photon this is a very very important point that charge cannot be transferred to the photon as it is a massless light particle now six properties an accelerated charge always radiates energy in the form of em waves it will be discussed in em waves seventh property is charge on body does not depend on its velocity here it should be noted that mass depends on velocity of the body according to relation m is equal to m not upon under root 1 minus v square upon c square here m not is the rest mass of the body v is the speed of body c is the speed of light m is dynamic mass that is mass in motion now i am giving you an example based on quantization of charge we have an iron piece of mass 56 mg atomic number of iron piece is 26 if 10 to the power minus 6 percent electrons are removed from this body then calculate charge appears on this body now pause the button of your video and try to solve this problem yourself now solution of above problem the formula of charge is q is equal to any we can calculate q if we know the value of n and e here e is 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 coulomb but we don't know n so we first find n here it is given that mass of iron piece is 56 mg so the number of moles of iron is equal to 56 into 10 to the power minus 3 g upon molar mass that is 56 into 10 to the power minus 3 g upon 56 g is equal to 10 to the power minus 3 moles as one mole of any substance is equal to avogadro number na therefore number of atoms of iron is equal to 10 to the power minus 3 into na is equal to 10 to the power minus 3 into the value of avogadro number is 6.022 into 10 to the power 23 is equal to 6 into 10 to the power 20 so the number of atoms of iron is equal to 6 into 10 to the power 20 it is given that 10 to the power minus 6 percent electrons are removed is equal to total number of electrons into 10 to the power minus 6 upon 100 is equal to total number of electrons into 10 to the power minus 8 now total number of electrons will be equal to atomic number into number of atoms into 10 to the power minus 8 Is equal to twenty six into six into ten to the power twenty 
as total number of atoms is 6 into 10 to the power 20 and number of electrons in one atom is 26 atomic number equal to atomic number into 10 to the power minus 8 it will be equal to 156 into 10 to the power 12 so the value of n is n is equal to 156 into 10 to the power 12 now we can easily calculate the charge on the given body the charge q is equal to n e is equal to n the value of n is 156 into 10 to the power 12 and the value of e is 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 coulomb it will be equal to 25 into 10 to the power minus 6 coulomb that is 25 micro coulomb thanks for watching